morning everywhere's looking nice this good friday look at them views for miles so back to a normal day of farming not wedding in my wife's going to blackpool today so she could go to tom pemberton's farm shop see the uh, cows being released today we've got ours out in the field there four of them Late lush grass at this end but they always seem to want to stop down there with the shelter of the hedge or something it'll be a bit warmer there overnight or something i'm guessing anyway that's all i can guess so let's get everything started um i'm guessing andy's going to be going plowing today there's a plow on the 7530 um we'll be doing some yard work and we'll be turning up in a bit um yeah let's get cracking morning andy so yeah that's just mixing the molasses in there and we'll get the rest of the ingredients in pile of crisps that would have gone to landfill and produced how much methane and guess what my cows could turn that into food something we can use my mucky windows i'm just putting the crisps in now they hardly get any to be honest but it's all part of the balanced ration that we feed that we measure into this feed mixer there, that's sugar beet too much there's too much grown to go to the factory guess what instead of putting it to landfill my cows yeah, can eat it there that's trafford gold that's a byproduct from wheat manufacture, so you can take alcohol and the starch and stuff like that out of wheat for food production, and then you get left with that stuff that's not really much use to anything other than cows and ruminants. Guess what? Saves it from landfill. Stuff out there, grass, that grows abundantly in the UK. We can't eat it. You can eat as much grass as you want. You could just fill your belly full of grass and you would lose weight. So my cows can fill their belly full of grass the microbes can break it down and then the cow can feed off the microbes and the digested grass. Rumens are amazing. Here, proper representing, not only the hat, but the t-shirt as well. So I've jumped onto the mixer now and we're just unloading it. And then my dad goes around with the bucket and feeds it out. Which I know sounds quite counterproductive but it's just the way that the farm's set up. We can't get the mix around. We have to go around with the uh, JCB and bucket. So when we first started uh, feeding cattle, we would just feed them barley and minerals. And we could do that with the JCB bucket. We'd mill everything into a pile and then just go around with the JCB feeding out. It's never thought of that we would ever use a mixer. Mixer wagons were for dairy farmers. Um, why would we use a mixer? Well, I wish we'd thought, maybe we might use a mixer one day. Because <laughs> it'd make my life a lot easier, but. And we've got to just work with what we've got sometimes. Rather than trying to change everything around, which is going to be very costly. Um, so yeah, we just got to soldier on. Andy appears out of the shadows. And dust. Tractor's looking a bit mucky, isn't it? They ain't gonna be happy with that. There we go. Can you hear the beats from this? I'm gonna get a copyright for this, aren't I? What have you got on? You dancing? <laughs> Is that a scooter? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, Mick. Like, if I ask the question, what what music is Big Mick into? Do you reckon somebody would have guessed scooter? Yeah. Mm. What what other music do you think Mick's into? Well, Let us know. Oh, I've loved, I've brushed oh, it. Right. Go on then, Mick, so what happened? One of my followers. 
<laughs> follow me, follow me. <laughs> so somebody are doing some work next door to Mick. And, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I, I don't know, price the job up or whatever. Yeah. And because um, <laughs> I know you, big Mick. <laughs> spotted me. <laughs> Been spotted at his own house. Can you believe it? What are you doing? Took me socks in for me wellies. You what? Are you for real? We all in wellies. Oh, God. He's still on with these, you know. Still on with them. Uh, Another minor problem. Hopefully it's minor. Um, this is leaking oil, and I'm guessing it's this seal here. Can you see it's blown out? Uh, it looks like it's just blown it out. So I'm going to get that took off, and we'll see if I've got a seal to fit it. It's leaking all the way down here. And that oil's expensive. We need to sort this out. Well, it's on. It's on there. May I'll grab the MX one. Brilliant tool. Camera in case anything drops out. A lot of oil by the looks of it. Shit. So I think I'm gonna have to do something to prop these up so that the oil, the oil doesn't come out. I think this might be better. Can't go anywhere when it's like this. He says. Yeah, that's it. A little bit's dropped out, but not a lot. Right, so we've got a spring. I'm guessing this is some kind of like pressure relief, but that, uh, that O-ring's not very well. So replace that, the job should be tidy, better. Ruby show. Well done, Em. Um. Job done. It's not leaking any oil into the environment now. Um, I love having them spare seals. It's like, we never had any at one point and now we've just got like a little selection box of different sizes and oh it's got me out of so many situations it's unreal anyway gonna make coffees i think mr z uh all right ash he busy busy. <laughs> busy busy must be on tinder or something big coffee cam today the skills have got to come out i haven't actually spilled out yet does time yet though? Did you see it, mate? Mm. Mm. I thought you're on diet anyway. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Just checking out Andy's plow. We've got a bolt here at the back that is loose. But we've tried tightening it with that bar and it didn't work. So we tried taking it off so we can put some washers under it with that bar, with that bar on the end and it won't move. So we're going to heat it up now and Hopefully that'll sort it. I'm miss, I'm missing a collar, Joe. No, we'll set it on fire. You got the that piece there inside of Have that. We got the lighter? Uh, no, not that I know of. Let's mix. Go on. Missing a collar, by the way. Going. Looks like it. Burning thing. We've got a red and a blue tap. What did you say, Andy? Has it got hot and cold? <laughs> it's like one's for the propane, one's for the oxygen. I can see where you're coming from with that though, Em. But no, it's not got hot and cold. Uh, hot and cold. <laughs> Andy's got his packed lunch with him. He's half out for the day. Where are you going, Andy? Right. Nice field somewhere. Yeah, nice field, just for a little walk. Now he's off ploughing. Business. The back. They've been to pick up a, a worming gun for us. One of them had broken. You happy? Me and Ash are going to get in the lorry and we're off to somewhere near Buxton, I think. Pick some cows up. Um, hopefully, pick some cows up. Anyway, probably go live. So check out our YouTube live if we went on YouTube. Or oh, it might be TikTok, I can't remember. But um, yeah, check us out. If you subscribed, You'd have got a notification and you'd be able to see it. And now in the Peak District. Nice. Good little Shetland pony on that right side. Um, yeah, so we've got another, I don't know, 40 minutes driving to do before we get to this farm, but it is in the Peak District. Um, some nice, nice areas, but obviously with it being the Easter weekend, we're behind caravans. Jeremy Clarkson's pet here, eh? Down. So it's not just farmers slowing people down, caravans as well. <laughs> Look at this, this is a different world to where me and Ash are from, let me tell you that. We've passed some real fancy houses. A couple 
down there just having a nice little picnic and uh, yeah got some steep hills anyway up there old land over there nice CVs whatever but, yeah this is it now you follow river all the way down this <laughs> side this is coming into Buxton this oh yeah beautiful not much arable land like but uh, very picturesque Posh round here, they have got a Waitrose. Oh yeah, it's nice, we're in Buxton. Oh, it's Aldi though, cross road, oh that's alright then. Kate's for all, Kate's for all. At least I can do my shopping here. Those cattle from Buxton, then he got back to the farm, and then my dad and Em had got some cattle to go out to grass. So me and Ash jumped in the wagon, and then took these cattle out to grass. Here's Ash opening the gate for Here me. Here we are, Ash has just opened the gate. We're going to drop some cattle off on this RSPB site. We must be waiting for me to, to be able to get in. <laughs> so it's a bit of a tight road down here because um, the bushes have overgrown for the scanning of beasts to get through, but we'll make it. And also loads of people walk on here, so it's going to be an absolute nightmare getting down, but anyway. So we've got to get them in this field on the right here. Into there. It's a bit of a tight turn with the lorry, but hey-ho, we'll get them in. So what the cattle will do is graze this down and create habitat for nesting birds. We've already got some geese in the background there. But there's also lapwings, a lot of lapwings nest on here. Uh, have a sets. Yeah. It's all good. There they go, the first five. Are you going to let this stuff, Ash? I should just let the next ones out. Ash will run off in a second. <laughs> I think Ash, you, you've run off quicker than the, uh, any of the cows have come off back at wagon. Another five, so we've got ten in there now. So they'll run about, find the perimeter. See what's about get eating some grass and cheap feed for these guys for the next however many months september probably october maybe we do sometimes leave them into november sometimes uh in these fields down here just depending on the space that we've got back at the farm and how they're doing and the, the grass that's left because they're not um intensely grazed on here we could have if this was in a an arable setting we'd have a lot more cattle on this amount of land but because they are doing a job in um, providing a habitat for the wildlife they're not grazed intensely we could have probably double the amount on here if we wanted to So yeah. yeah, so all this up to probably 10 years ago maybe, maybe less than 10 years was all arable land, some of it we used to farm and it's now um, an RSPB nature reserve which we now farm but with the cattle. else has this same experience but we've just passed two people with binoculars around the neck wearing anoraks. <laughs> the I had to move over to the side because surprise surprise I'm in a you know a 22 three ton 26 ton lorry as Ash, Ash knows it lorries and wave to him you know like smile big smile on my face thank you literally nothing like stone cold like as like, so I weren't even there and then like I've just had a couple walk with pram 
and like they're having to get pram out of way. You know, it's a real nightmare. Let me show you this. There ain't nowhere to get a pram off the road. You know, like there's nowhere to go, and there's bushes. There's a massive inconvenience coming down here, and so I'm like waving and like smiling, and they're waving back to me, smiling. You know, kids are waving to me. Everything's all good. So just why do people in anoraks with things around the necks just not have any? You know. They're just not happy, are they? Just please, just get happy, yeah? Take your anorak off. <laughs> so this is another nature reserve. This one's not the RSPB. It's got a lovely big pond in it. And that pond was actually created by the pits and the mining around here. So it's not a natural pond. There's a pit shaft sunk and it created that, the depression in it. So I didn't get any footage of these guys getting out because we were blocking the road off and of course no cars were going by until we decided to pull the lorry across so I think yeah might have just annoyed a few people if I started filming then so me and Ash now are just tying the gates up making sure that they can't get out how far away they've gone like that is full zoom on the camera but yeah it's lovely down here not great grazing ground but um a good habitat for wildlife and the cows are there to help manage it to keep the grass down and use their hooves to make hoof prints for ground nesting birds yeah just cows are great basically brilliant well, one of the locals while we were here um guy came over and said oh I'll, I'll keep an eye on them for you keep counting them and what have you um so that's that's great when you can get a bit of Support from the local community, so he's took my dad's number in case anything gets out or you know anything looks unwell, he can give us a call. Because as much as we do come and look at him quite often, it's always nice to have somebody that's there every day um, just to see if there's any problems or issues. Fantastic. Andy's yeah. back in the yard. Finished it, Andy. Andy and Ash are just feeding round now. Look at these guys all laid outside today. Like it's like the beer garden out here. They're loving it. Business. So I've just got the fodder beat to put out. M's down there in the scania box. Cleaning it, washing it out for us. Doing a cracking job. Fetching bales round, probably gonna pop around that corner any second. He's done it now though, look at that. On cue. Never works like that, but it has today. <laughs> yeah, so he's getting them settled. And Andy's got home on it, left us to it. What's he like? I don't know. No, he's taking Mrs. out for something to eat, so that's fine. It's uh, Good Friday, isn't it? Bloomin' it. It's good that people are here helping us work. Hey, What's up? Look at that. That's supposed to be uh, full. Yeah, don't Flat tyre. Let's get it pumped up then. Let's get it sweated. Have you? Why? Special day. Special day? Oh, I'm gonna pump. Oh, she's going to pump, she says. Pump it tight up then, Em, haven't we? I had to cut that because I had a little swear, so. Yeah, I did, yeah. yeah. I said a naughty, naughty word. I don't like putting naughty words in the videos. I only fixed that like two days ago. Yeah. Do you want me to do it? You got it. Alright, here you go then. Right. Joe's just uh, been some great assistance. Cheers, Joe. Would you like hey, some help? Well, I might as well pump this up, Anna, while I've got it in my hand. Yeah. Hey. So come on then, Em. Tell us what you've been doing. Today? Yeah. We've been vaccinating cows with. Has uh... this even got. It should work. Um, I've just cleaned my wagon, it's all shiny. I've heard um... that you've been driving. Oh, yes. Well, I spin it round onto itself. I'm in a field. And Jonathan made me drive the truck. Jonathan's my dad. Jonathan's his dad, but they're not the shy man. And basically, I was rallying around the field. We nearly got yeah. stuck, but I survived. <laughs> and uh, I went like 10 mile an hour. You went what, 10 mile an hour? Well, no, do you know no, what I have seen underneath? Yeah? I don't know how much you know to put in these tires. Just until it's heavy enough to get me home. I've got like it's four mile with a flat tyre, guys. Have you lost bit. my dust cap? 
No, no, don't, don't worry, I'm s Em, I've got it here. Don't worry yourself. Got on the side of that car, yeah, as though you might have got bottomed it out. Oh, we did a few times between us both. Check this out, people, as well. Look at this, how level this camera skills are here. <laughs> anyway, on, right. Look at this. Business. Business. Em, stop recording, didn't she? What's she like? Just eh? come on. Right, I think these are going to be proper ones. I like these, but these were like... I prefer this one. They're, like they're, they feel nicer quality, don't they, them ones? Yeah, they're like they're, cheap ones. These are like... Yeah. Oh. But I do like that these have got these little like... Right, right, right. Uh, We're still on the molasses tank and it's a bad idea. Look at that. If you like what you see, please remember to like and subscribe. I should just pop in that away. Em's got to go because she's going to the pub. And you know what? I might go to the shop and get some beer. Come on, let me go. Over. Wait. Go, go, go. Wheelie. Yeah, um. yeah. We'll be see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Yeah, I'm back tomorrow. See you, people. Thanks for joining us. You're actually laughing because, like, I've just put 30 psi in, and Em's got to the to the end of the drive and it's gone down on her. So I said we'll uh, we'll take her home. So um, then she can get to the pub, can't she, on time? See, she's been working late. Yo. Yo. Right. So because Em's bike tire went down. Yeah, I got from like. 10 yards. Yeah, one end one end of the drive to the other, and it's not that far really, is it? And it was flat. Yeah. So I've opted to take Emily home because she needs to get to the pub. Can you not call me my real name, please? I really appreciate Em. What, Emma? No, Em. It's Emma, isn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I just buy that. You name. just want Em? Just I'm em, sure please. I'm sure when you came to work for us, you were called Emily, though. Yeah, I was. But no. like, y'all were the only people that called me Emily. What, were the only people that call you Emily? Yeah. What, does everybody else call you Em? Yeah. Or Emma on occasion. Is that from working here? Or is it just all your life it's been Em? No, it's always been Em. Oh, right, okay. And then, then it were Emily when I come to York, because that was my name. Yeah. And then, like, now it's gone back to Em. And then uh, everybody calls you Em. And now everybody in the world thinks I'm called Emma. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I oh, and to the guy who I saw last night who thinks I work at Next. A 154% do not. Just, so was it you fun. then? No, oh. I haven't seen the guy, I've just seen the comments. That was Lee. Lee Calvert. The, Lee Calvert, who did, yeah, who yeah, did this parody? Yeah, yeah. No? I've seen it, but I want to show his name. <laughs> so uh, M's got a twin. So I've got a twin, he works, works at Nets. No, I have a real twin that works at Nets, but he's a boy and he looks nothing like me and he doesn't ride a bike. Yeah, you probably don't already know, don't know this fact, do you? You're actually a oh. twin. Fact of the day, guys. Fact of the day. I'm a twin. You learned everything today. So you've got two of me. Well, no, but yeah. yeah. Well, a male version of you. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. Not. It's not I don't an think he's farming, is he? No, no, no farming. No. No, no. Take two. Take two. I forgot M's name, so um, M was just saying she's going. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye, people. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.